peeps and welcome it's Kathleen from Cos Creations welcome to the no bra zone guys it's a happy day it's a day of family picnics fireworks and some talented talented artists happy birthday America happy 4th of July to each and every one of you I am so excited to be painting in the company of a lot of new artists that I got to visit for the very first time and I believe that I am last in the trail of the 4th of July pour so if you haven't visited please go check out Art by Donna M. She went off first today the darling sweet beautiful my friend Mina Villegas she went off second Cynthia Porter's studio she went third today our beautiful lovely Mac Mac Miss Sarah Mac we also have Holly from the morning pour Meta pours and then me yours truly guys the link to all of those lovely ladies channel will be in the description box go by pay them a visit you might meet meet a new artist that warms your heart and have fun today guys let's talk about what we're doing we were all asked to paint in red white and blue and a few other colors if you wanted to throw them in we were also asked to kind of represent the state that we are in. Um, I am living until this fall in Asheville, North Carolina, and it just so happens that our state flag is red, white, and blues. So I've decided to stay in that color scheme. Let's talk about our paints. Our base coat is lovely. Unfortunately, I can't tell you everything that's in here because these are my scrapings. These are from a pour that I did for Sweet Deanna a couple of days ago, but we've got some uh, white in here. We've got some Payne's gray in here, and I believe there's also some Prussian blue. I scrape up my drippings, put them in a covered container, stir them up, sometimes add some more um, pigment to them. Sometimes I add a little bit more pouring medium and I try to reutilize everything, which makes me feel good. Saves a little money. In this cup right here, I haven't decided I might do a multicolored base coat. This is a cloud mixture right there. That is two parts artist loft white to one part satin enamel in the pure white. Now our pouring medium, our colors that we are pouring with as well as our base coat are all mixed to the same consistency with the same pouring medium. We have one part paint, one part Liquitex pouring medium, one part golden GAC 800, a hefty squirt of Floetrol, and then water to consistency. Some of these paints took a little bit more water than others, and I will tell you why. In this cup right here, we have DecoArt Satin Enamel, and that is the Deep Ruby. This is a heavier body paint, so it took a little bit more water than my fluid paints did. This right here is a lovely color. That is... Prussian Blue Hue by Golden in the Fluid Paints, and I darkened it up a little bit with the Golden Fluid Acrylics in the Bone Black. Now, this did not take as much water as this because it is a fluid paint and is already more fluid than this medium body paint. This is one of my favorite colors, Golden Fluid Acrylics, and that is their Payne's Gray in the Fluid Paint so not that much water was needed in this cup right here. This right here is our Golden Fluid Acrylics in the Payne's Gray, and I added a tablespoon of the DecoArt Satin Enamel in the Pure White to lighten it up a little bit, give it a nice contrast to these darker hues. This right here is more of our white base coat the Artist Law Fluid Acrylics in White with the Deco Art Satin Enamel in Pure White. 
two parts of the artist loft, one part of the decor at satin enamel, our pouring medium, which is one part Liquitex, one part Golden GAC 800, a hefty squeeze of Floetrol, which I keep in a squeeze bottle, and water to consistency. This took a little bit of water as well because the satin enamel is a little bit of a medium body paint. So we are gonna rock and roll. Now, if we have time, I'm going to do a minimalistic swipe on this canvas. Our canvas is a 12 by 24 inch edge gallery wrap canvas bought on sale, don't you know? If we have time after I finish this painting, I might do a traveling ring pour using my leftover paints. Now, these paints are very fluid for my swipe. When the paint rolls off the popsicle stick into the paint below, it leaves almost no trace whatsoever. And when I do a traveling ring pour or any kind of ring pour, my paints need to be a little thicker to kind of hold their shape. So if we have time and I do do a traveling ring pour, I'm going to take my leftover paints, add a little bit more pigment to them, and then I'm going to add my mixed pour. This is thicker than my GAC Liquitex and Floetrol mixture. So this will help to thicken up my paints without compromising the color. And I will put a link to Sweet Krista, the talented artist who came up with this mixed pour recipe in the description box. Yada, 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 yada. Enough talking, guys. Let's get to the canvas. Let's get busy painting. Glad you're here.
Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Let me figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground 